Hey friends, it's Ed Beige, a Coastal Magnolia. We just got back from a cruise on the fabulous Mardi Gras. And this cruise was all about me because it's my birthday. Went to three ports that are absolutely loaded with sea glass. Look at all of this beautiful sea glass that I found. I have a lot of upcoming project plans for this glass, but today, why don't you just come on the walk with me in San Juan, Amber Cove, Dominican Republic, and Grand Turk. Let's go. So I literally am so excited right now because we went the wrong way. We went all around the old, what is, old fort? Is that what it is? The old fort San Juan in Puerto Rico. Went the wrong way, but now I think that we might have found it. I'm not sure. We're about to, we're about to find out. This really is kind of funny because once we realized we were going the wrong way, we were supposed to have gone to the right when we exited the cruise port and instead we went to the left and this is what we're looking for. We're looking for the capital. This is the capital of San Juan. And once we found it, it was like, oh, here we are, we're here because the park is right across the street from the capital. There is the park. And there's supposed to be steps down there on that side. Like maybe right there. We're about to find out. Yeah, see, there it is. Let's go. Yeah, you were right. So I wonder if it's these. Yes, it is. Oh my God, I'm gonna wet my pants. See, there is literally nobody down here. Literally. The steps are not steep and the walk is very easy, nice and wide when you get to the bottom. I think the, the maybe the boardwalk got damaged in, in some storms, so the final step is over some rocks. Doug took off his shoes, which was really smart. I left mine on because I didn't want to walk on the rocks in bare feet and my feet got wet. Going back in, gonna find some more. I did find one red. I have found lots and lots of green. So here's a nice, at that one that's really cool lots of this color lots of green lots of amber lots of brown and believe it or not there's some black in here and when I get back to the ship I'm gonna show you um, the piece of red y'all be careful right here because when the waves come in sometimes they they hit like that <laughs> they hit really hard and then it's wanting to push the big rocks up and my feet are beat up like I've lost my all my polish so I just wanted to warn you because I got warned when I got here so <laughs> but yeah it is super super rocky but I will brave this any day, but I'm not brave enough to go in there. Like, I am totally not going to do that. Black, look, piece of black. The natural jetty right here is the only reason we're able to walk on this beach right now because the waves crash on those rocks out there, that natural jetty. And so by the time they reach the shore, reach us, they're a little bit flatter and watch out, watch out, otherwise there's out. no way we'd be able to walk. And you see she, she fell right there. And luckily, I mean, she was not hurt, but the rocks were, um, the little rocks on the beach were being washed up both ways so but look at all that look at all these rocks it was full of glass full 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 of glass 
And I'm just getting used to wearing my GoPro on my chest on, in, in the harness, so the camera angle is really stinky. I'm, I'm, I'm adjusting it. I'm getting used to it. Look at the size of some of these rocks. I mean, when I tell you they hurt, they flip and hurt. I went back to the ship with my feet bruised up. My ankles were swollen, but it was 100% worth it. 100%. Not at all regretting that. And honestly, I picked this cruise specifically for San Juan because I had heard so much about this cruise. And I probably would come back to not wearing stormy season. I'm not sure if I'm going to be in the season. I'm not sure if I'm going to be in the season. But I definitely would come back just to the next one. I love the cruise. Now, I live in Florida. We have San Juan, but not this much We just spent three hours at the Sea Glass Beach. Three hours. And I have a bag full of glass. I found bright cobalt blue, this cornflower blue, and I think the cornflower blue is more rare than the sapphire. Okay. And then a piece of red, and a ton of green, a ton of brown, a ton of white. So my husband is a saint. Don't tell him I said that. Our next stop was at Carnival's Port called Amber Cove, and that is in the Dominican Republic. This is a beautiful beach. Happy Valentine's Day 2024. There definitely wasn't as much glass on this beach, but the waves were a lot calmer, and the rum punch was flowing all day, y'all. All day, rum punch. I did find lots of glass though. I found one blue, one red, and two sea beans. Oh, look how pretty that is. Look. Look how pretty that is. Doug was even helping me look, but I found more glass. You missed it. I know, I saw it. I saw it first. A weird color. Mm. Oh, gr oh, clear. Oh, green. The beach we visited was part of a carnival excursion. We did not wander out on our own. So this was an organized excursion. Lots of people, lots of food, lots of drinks, lots of music, lots of fun. And it was a special Valentine's Day. Mm. Oh, dude, that's a good piece. Next stop was in Grand Turk in Turks and Caicos, and we walked down to the beach to our favorite place, hey, Jack's back. Shack. I'm gonna go find treasures. With the beautiful Mardi Gras in the background, I started off down the beach. Now, I've been on this beach before many times, and I know that there's not much sea glass here. You do have to look for it. Though The pieces that I found, though, were, were small, but very, very polished and really, um, really cute and unusual colors. There were a lot of pieces that I lost because the, you know, the waves were, were coming in and pulling the sand, but it was still fun. I mean, it's the, it's kind of like the thrill of the hunt, but look how beautiful and clear this water is. Look how clean it is. Um, the sand is just beautiful. So my strategy here, you, you'll see me do it in a minute. When I see a piece of glass, I just grab the whole handful of sand and then just picked out the glass. Otherwise, the wave was just gonna make it disappear on me. As I got to the end where the little shipping dock was, there was another, another lady there also looking for sea glass and she and I were, we're just trading ideas and talking and we thought, you know what? I bet around those pilings up under that dock, I bet there is a bunch of sea glass. So we walked over together and uh, we didn't know it at the time, but you know, we went up under the fence 
and started looking around and found a couple pieces. And then um, we got told very quickly that that was a no-no, that was a closed area. So back under the bridge we went. And um, of course I took my time getting up under the fence because I was finding laugh. But once we got back on the right side of the fence, we just kind of walked down the beach together and continued looking for glass. But I was making my way kind of quickly because the uh, conch fritters and shrimp tacos were calling my name at Jack Shack. So I uh, made my way back to my umbrella and my drinks. But on the way back, I decided to walk on the tide line where the rocks were and instead of the water. And I found quite a lot of glass that way. So where the rocks are, I think I found more glass on that, um, that little rock line than I did uh, in the water. This was our fourth time in Grand Turk. Our third time on this big, beautiful Carnival Mardi Gras ship. And it definitely will not be our last. Look at all of the glass that I found on this trip. And I know I did other things other than look for sea glass. Like I, I didn't walk the beach the entire time. But it was the main reason why I wanted to take this cruise is because I knew in Puerto Rico I was gonna find a lot of glass. Now, the f most fun part uh, you know, after we got on the ship, I just went out onto our balcony and just sorted through trying to find some of the more unusual colors that I found, like some yellows and celadon, uh, cornflower blue, and just a lot of really light blues and whites and just different color greens. I'm excited to, to do some projects with these. I'm not sure what they will be, but I will be bringing you some videos on these. And I'm also gonna take these home and sort through them and, and separate them into colors a little bit more. So I will be sharing a video on that as well. So thanks for coming along on this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I don't know, had a little bit of fun. So see you soon, my friends. Thanks for watching.